Good morning, everyone. Yes, I confirm we are at the end of July and I'm wearing a hat, gloves, and a puff jacket. Uh, it's pretty cold. It was pretty cold uh, during the night. I mean, it was okay in the Jeep. I had my heavy duty sleeping bag, but temperature right now is 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So it has to be something like, oh, like five degrees Celsius. So yeah, it is pretty cold, but that's fine. It's gonna warm up pretty, pretty quick. I'm gonna get some tea, warm up, and maybe go for a, go for a walk. It's really pretty. Nice spot, and it was pretty quiet yesterday. So I got uh, all my water container refilled and that was the exercise of the day. So today is day 10 or 11, I think it's day 11. And let me show you so the plan of the day and also um, kind of show you like the overall uh, view of uh, all those sections and what I'm doing here because I keep uh, showing like a little section at a time. So uh, we started the Trans-America Trail here in a South Dakota, in a, a, a Sioux Fall, and we did all that with a did all that with a crystal, and then two days ago, uh, then you know we we split uh, Crystal and Miriam. They went up north to Yellowstone and uh, and the Bighorn National Forest. So since then, I've been driving on a trail, and we I am here today. So it's a really nice campground, and I'm gonna keep going all the way up to here, uh, which would be the end of the Wyoming uh, section of the Trans-America Trail. So I'm all the way, almost all the way at the south um, of the trail, and then I'm gonna go back like northwest-ish. And then I'm gonna start the Idaho uh, section, the north, the north part. So if I go to the one underneath, just show you a, a little more detail. Yeah, it's a little windy here. Um, yeah, on the trail. So this is all I did uh, in Wyoming, and I am in the uh, medicine medicine bow route national forest, and I think I'm right there. This little little spot here, because I just started section uh, section four, which is this section here. So yeah, still a ways to go uh, to cross Wyoming, but if it's like it's been yesterday. You know, in the forest and uh, all this road. I mean, it's beautiful. So, yeah. So it is. I'm not even sure what time it is. It's so nice. I'm taking my time here, um, but I'll be hitting the road pretty soon. And it's getting getting hot. And I got some recommendation from uh, my uh, camp host back there. So let's see if I can uh, if I can uh, do one of the things like they they suggested. So I have been wanting to do that for a while now. Um, I'm going to air down my tires, uh, not because of you know any traction or anything, which is typically why you would do it, but it is just for my own comfort. You know, those roads, there's a lot of uh, potholes, cor corrugation, uh, you know, just a dirt road, gravel road, all these service roads. So I'm going to air down the tire and it should make uh, the whole ride uh, smoother. So I'll do that now. I found a little shaded spot here. 
so it shouldn't take long and uh, when I drive on the road I'll try to go uh, a little slower try to remember that uh, my tires uh, have low air pressure in them so I'll get my air box should slide out pretty easily yep And let's start on this side here. So I'm gonna use my uh, quick deflator. Yeah, you want. Shaking here, and let me put the uh, camera here on a tripod. So I'm at 30 PSI, I think I'm going to go to 20. <laughs> 20 it is. And three more to go. take a quick break here to show you two things so the first one is the view I am at uh, 8,000 feet and I'm still gonna be climbing a little bit pretty windy and noisy I don't know, got some uh, water pump. Making some noise here. But this is the view. It's beautiful. So that is the first thing I wanted to show you. Now let me get away from the noise. show you this yes it is snow right there all these white patches there so it's probably a little above above uh, 8,000 feet I'm gonna say I guess uh, 8,500 maybe and uh, yeah it's in the Sun it's uh, I think like 85 degrees Fahrenheit and still have some snow on the on the side of the mountain here so I think the road is going on the top here uh, of the hill so if it does I mean, I'll try to stop and check to make sure but sure lo looks like uh, snow to me so I stopped on the side of the road here and I'm at the top I'm gonna walk a little bit and yeah check if it's uh, snow So I'm on this uh, little pass, path here. I think it's like a deer path. I try not to fall, but I think right there, it really looks like like a muddy, muddy snow. So uh, let me see if I can keep going without falling like 50 feet. Okay, well, I'm not a deer, so I can't really go that way I'm not sure the camera uh, makes it justice but it's pretty steep so I'm not sure if I can go below there so some deer in the background there 
in the woods. I don't know. They hit on now. Yeah, I heard them. So I'm going to turn around. Maybe I can go uh, another way. But yeah, I'm like 100% sure this is uh, snow right there. And I don't know if it's the altitude or I'm out of shape or both, but I need to catch up my breath. Damn. It's super windy here, so I walked all the way to the uh, other side. I mean, I followed the, followed the cliff, but there is no easy way to go down. Uh, yeah, really, I don't, I don't want to keep going. Um, but again, I mean, I think the proof is here. We've got snow at the end of July in Wyoming. So it's probably some leftover from the from the winter. So I'm gonna turn around and go back to the car, to the Jeep, which is all the way back there. Little green dot there. So yeah, that was a good exercise. taping uh, behind the jeep because it's super windy let me show you so toward the end of the day i was looking for a campsite or a, a spot to uh to stay for the night so i look on the uh, eye overlander and i found something uh, a site uh, pretty close to the uh, trans america trail um, and it says it was on a BLM uh, land, Bureau of Land Management, so free to stay. So I went there, I was 20 minutes uh, away from uh, where the, uh, from the Trans America Trail, and I got there and there was a sign uh, at the entrance that said uh, state land, no camping allowed. Uh, so it was kind of uh, sketchy, so I drove a little bit uh, on the, the, the guy on the Ironlander said that the uh, the uh, I had to drive half a mile to be on the uh, the BLM uh, land, but there was no sign and there was like no really no signs of uh, camping or anything. So I turned around, tried to find something else, and it was getting a little late. So I ended up in a RV campground. I think it's called a Happy Camper, and it's it's okay. I mean it's by the road, but um, it's not bad, and they have a shower, uh, uh, bathroom, toilet, Wi-Fi, all nine yarn, uh, all that for 10 bucks for the night. So yeah, it works, it works for me. So yesterday it was quite easy you know, to find a campground and uh, tonight was uh, quite difficult. 
um, but hey, that's okay. I can't win uh, every day. So I think I'm gonna call it a day. Try to hide from the from the wind somewhere behind the jeep. I'll put a chair behind the jeep and uh, hang out a little bit here until uh, sunset and uh, go to bed. And I will talk to you tomorrow. Cheers. Good night.